Next on Newsmakers, a new program at 10 Can teaches young men and women valuable video production skills. Details coming up. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are at the Northeast Community Center in Spokane today. Glad to have you along with us. Joining us right now is Ryan Ferguson, who is manager of interactive media for TenCan. Ryan, thanks Hi, so much for coming absolutely. on the program. Absolutely, glad to be here. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you. So before we talk about this uh, cool program helping uh, young men and women, tell us a little bit about TenCan. Yeah, TenCan has been around for about 20 years, um, and it started as kind of a, an access network for people to to get internet and, and uh, emails early on and it's, it's just morphed and worn many hats over the years. Um, it's completely grant funded and so um, the, the grants kind of dictate where we head but really the focus with bringing technology to the community. So you've got different programs. That's right. Mm -hmm. And one of the programs is a grant uh, from Microsoft, am I correct on yeah, that? Yeah, you are correct, yeah. And so what does this grant do? Well this grant is designed to kind of um, help 18 to 25 year olds get into the work, uh, the workplace and so specifically focus with video production. And so what are they learning when you say video production? Well, they come in and spend three weeks with me learning um, every element of video production, the scripting, the shooting, the editing. Um, and then the last three weeks, we partner them with local businesses, and they, um, they get a chance to make a promo video for that local business. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. So uh, you talk about the skills that they learn during the six-week program. I would imagine there are some other skills that they're learning, because these are young men and women looking for work. And I would imagine there's some other skills that they're learning that would help them uh, a leg up in the job market. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with filmmaking especially, there's a, a huge element of teamwork uh, together. They, they learn to work with a team where one person's directing, the other one's shooting, and then they bring it to the editor, and then they've got to all kind of work together. So there's a huge uh, element of teamwork. And then also just practical things like showing up on time, um, you know, wearing the appropriate clothing for the day. Um, and, then, and then later on when they get to work with um, the businesses, they get to sit down and have a concept meeting. So hearing other people's feedback to their ideas that they thought were really great is always fun to watch them you know work and and get the customers ideas involved in their in their product so and what kind of feedback have you heard from the participants? Uh, well, the participants love it. Um, a lot of them come in with a little bit of interest in video production to begin with, which is good, um, and they learn a ton from it. Um, so they, they really like it. And then even the businesses we've worked with have, have had excellent uh, responses. You said some of them have come in with interest anyway, but do you see some of them really wanting to pursue now a, a career in video production? That's right. Production? In fact, um, the last group we did, we had a kid um, go to the Art Institute of Seattle right after our program. So he got accepted into the video production, and I know there's a couple in this group that are planning on uh, video as a career. So is this program going to continue at least for a while? Uh-huh, for a while we will. So we, we take in every six weeks, we take in new um, participants. With the limit right now is about six, um, and we're looking for 18 to 25 year olds. And those who are looking for work, that's correct? Right, yeah. And you're looking for both men and women? Mm -hmm, that's correct. And is there any other criteria besides looking for work and, and the ages no, of the No, no. In fact, uh, I mean, it really is so geared on, on them getting a job, even if they get a job halfway through and they're able to stop. But we're looking for people who are unemployed and not in school and are really just at that stage where they need, they need work. And so if they are interested, should they go to the website? Yeah, or? you can go to the website and you can uh, find the info. You're welcome to call Tin Can call our number um, or you can even email me if, you, if you're interested. And they need to fill out an application. Yeah, Is there a come waiting in. process at this point? Um, well, usually we'll, we'll put it up on Craigslist and advertise in other places and then they come in and uh, an interview um, and then we select uh, the six we think are, are best fit for the program. And as you said, you hope this uh, continues. It sounds like it's a great program really helping yeah. people get some valuable skills. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's been fun to uh, be a part of. All right, great. Well, Ryan Ferguson, so nice to talk to you. Great to talk with and you. And you have other programs as well. Uh -huh. uh, information yeah, at you, your website? Tincan.org, and you can, we have workshops. We teach some basic video workshops. They're free for the community. Um, we teach some business workshops, growing your business with different, different uh, social media. Thanks so much, Ryan. Absolutely. And thank you for watching Comcast Newsmakers.